Friends, welcome back to the Brave New Wear Show. My name's Christian. Guidis, a brand built on quality construction and materials, is probably one of the last that you would expect to be knocked off. But in today's episode, I dive into the strange world of Guidi replicas and discover that their customers aren't hype beasts. And the quality of these replicas bring into question what you truly get when you buy a luxury good. Can the most adamant of the enthusiasts be tricked by a knockoff? And how much does that really matter? So this is future Christian talking. I had to put this video on pause because I didn't exactly know hi. Christian from the future here. I have been stumped by this video for weeks. I have come back and re-recorded parts multiple times, trying to get to a concise answer of what we should think about these Guidi replicas. The reality is I think my audience is going to come to this video with some preconceptions of what to think or what they expect. The first one is like with these boots, they are more realistically eight tenths the quality for one fourth the price. That's just one. The second thing is with the types of people buying these, the types of people on Reddit, quality reps, they are probably more like you than you realize. And by that, I mean a lot of the people I spoke to, this is a stepping stone and or they already collect the authentic versions of avant-garde designers and for whatever reason they needed to fit a fill a hole in their wardrobe and this was the only way to do it these boots here's the third thing these boots have and probably will continue to trick actual guidi owners i'll talk more about that like i, I want you to know what we're dealing with and the 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 reason that i'm like being all frustrated is because I can't devise the so what. I can't come up with the final answer of these are good, these are bad, these are neutral. So it's for you to decide. And I kind of mean that. That's what I want you guys to talk about in the comments. So please watch the whole video to get all of my points. Guidis, a boot that I've wanted since you were a little boy. In fact, if I go into Atelier in New York and just try them on one more time, they'll never let me back in that store. To the uninitiated, Guidi is an Italian leather luxury goods brand specializing in what can be called avant-garde artisanal pieces drawing from a long heritage of leather working and boot making. In fact, the Guidi Rossellini Tannery was founded all the way back in 1896 by Guido Guidi. He must have been great friends with Gucci o Gucci. And the brand is still headed by Guido's descendant, Ruccero Guidi, who to this day makes sure that the brand maintains its focus on handcrafted techniques and heritage. But Ruggiero hasn't kept the brand all old fashioned and stuffy. On the contrary, Guidi stands out for its high fashion appeal with an aesthetic that mirrors avant-garde designers like CCP and with collaborations with the likes of Yoji Yamamoto. The end results are pieces that reflect the high quality leather and distinctive processes and designs creating uniquely wrinkled and textured pieces. And of course, those coveted stacks seen on one of the modern brand's first designs, the 788Z. As a result of carrying this legacy, employing traditional Italian craftsmen using only the highest quality leathers, Guidi boots are expensive. And their aesthetic that had once only been the purview of shadowy dark message boards has now grown a lot more popular today. Perhaps too popular. That's where the idea for this video was born. While searching through multiple different topics of interest on TikTok, say like avant-garde fashion, I came across several videos promoting these Vietnam-made Guidi knockoffs. I got some Guidi dupes in the mail today from Vietnam, so let's do an unboxing. I know that's gonna piss a lot of people off. Are those Guidis, Miggy? No! And frankly, they looked pretty good. I was intrigued. On the one hand, Guidi's brand is all about the materials and construction. There are no, say, logos or flashy designs setting them apart. On the other, I have wanted those coveted stacks for so long. I was curious how this particular brand from Vietnam would be able to bite Guidi's style. 
It doesn't matter, I guess. The Vietnam company was so successful huh? in their TikTok marketing, all of their Guidi knockoffs were sold out. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, drawing on my expertise from a previous video, I decided to investigate the subreddit r slash quality reps to see if there were other manufacturers who were getting close to trying to replicate this Guidi design. There's a lot. And there were a lot of Redditors eager to talk to me about Guidi reps, which are the best, what the flaws were, how to buy your own. Because if you assume the only people buying fakes are hype beasts who don't care to wear a pale imitation Plum. of the real thing, you might be surprised by the community on r slash quality reps. Instead, many people I spoke to owned both replica Guidis and retail Guidis. Make your decision. I choose, I choose both. Some bought reps prior to upgrading, others will happily wear their retail or replica Guidis interchangeably, depending on the outfit. And not only that, these Guidi rep buyers were willing to jump through the various hoops involved in buying a replica from China. The translators, the intermediaries, the quality checks. What are those? but they were willing to pay a significant price, sometimes up to $400, which is technically around half the price of what a retail greedy will cost on sale, but still a lot of money. During my research and with the help of Reddit, I came to understand there are basically two factories One, two. responsible for the most discussed Guidi reps. And for the focus of this video, I was specifically looking for a replica of my coveted 788Zs. There are plenty of shoddy knockoffs, of course, and shoddy, not shoddy, not shoddy, but shoddy. But the purpose of r slash quality reps is that they are focused on factories or creators who are dedicated to trying to replicate the exact construction of the authentic pieces as possible. Hence the name, quality replicas. Your two options as I came to learn were older brother and a store named work even during an earthquake. I knew the labor laws were different in China, but I had no idea. As an aside, the earthquake seller and another seller who goes by Solo Handmade on Instagram are essentially the same entity. And here's the abridged. The older brother option is the best value. It's a pretty believable replica. It's a very well-made boot. It's just not a perfect coffee and it will cost you around $150 shipped. Notable in its shortcomings, the older brother 788Z uses calf skin uppers, but the authentic retail Guidis use horsehide uppers. Basically, 788Zs are designed around a single piece making up the majority of the upper, and the horsehide allows these boots to age in a very specific way and develop this very specific avant-garde aesthetic. The older brother versions using calfskin, apparently they develop too many stacks or the stacks don't look right. Earthquake slash solo handmade, however, strives to create a more perfect replica a more perfect union. Their 788Zs use actual horse hide with the uppers. Take a look at Solo's IG and see how they emphasize the quality, the craftsmanship, the construction, branded zippers, the logo inside, the box, etc. These typically, based on what I've learned, will run you around $400. I was in luck, guys. I was in luck. On a separate subreddit, specifically for selling replica goods. Somebody was selling a pair of the Earthquake Solo Guidi Boots 788Zs in my size and in white. I've always wanted the white ones, guys. I've always wanted this. I've wanted it for so long. All right, Upsman just came. I bought these off of a user from Reddit. So these are the Earthquake Solo made Wheaties that I guess were pre-owned. Hopefully it wasn't scammed. I've got a Bergdorf Goodman box 
and what looks like Wheaties. Let's see. Like, are these, are these fooling anyone? I don't know if it's relevant. These are really nice boots for the price that I paid for them. So for like $150, even for $400, this is a very good deal. These boots feel very well made. They are robust, they're heavy, the uppers feel very high quality. Two of the things that immediately stand out to me about these uppers versus Authentics are, for one, they are not as supple as like weedy retail boots. And it's kind of deceptive because these uppers feel kind of thicker. I think what the Authentic have that this doesn't is the Authentic has a more sloped kind of like upper shape and the supple leather results in the stacks more, say effectively, immediately, whatever you want. Guidi, the way they make that boot, I guess is not easy to replicate because in this attempt, it's close, but it's not exactly the same. I wore these boots to a party of a friend who owns Guidi's. I put these next to theirs. They saw them, they handled them, and they later asked me about my Guidi's. Like, full on, they really liked them. And so I did like a little song and dance where I was like, oh, why don't you touch them? Why don't you feel them? What do you think? Yada, yada, yada. But they were convinced these were real. And then obviously I explained they're not, as silly as this is. I was wearing them out at a bar and a guy comes up to me and asked if those are Guidi's and I tell him they're not. And we ended up having like a 15 minute conversation about ethical nature of fakes like this. And it's kind of the conversation that I'm stuck on right now. If I haven't said this up to right now, I'm stoked to the max that I got them. I'm stoked that I paid that price for them. I, I win, I took home a W. I realize I've been hyping up these replica makers and I really shouldn't as much as I, I have. For one, Guidi has every right to their intellectual property and somebody stealing their idea, their design, selling it, and then putting their brand on it is unethical. I don't think it's right. They are responsible for this design that was made through their meticulous process. Ultimately, Guidi's are way more expensive than they need to be. There are like economical necessities as to why they are priced that way. They recognize that in order for the brand to hold value, the shoes themselves have to be expensive. I have somewhat of an issue with the ways in which fashion can be very not egalitarian. A lot of people can not be able to participate in the like most interesting stuff if it is gate kept by big price tag. I am always eager to see ways in which people who don't have means can still participate. And there is something kind of exciting about these boots. If you are like me and found them on Reddit for like $150, all of a sudden you have an opportunity to participate in a very specific style silhouette that you wouldn't have been able to access before. And I think that there is value in that. I mean, I'm reaping the value. At the same time, I recognize that essentially, if rep makers are able to just kind of steal Guidi's ideas and then steal their market share, there could be a corrosive effect where Guidi goes out of business. Like they can't continue to make boots. These designs that we love and cherish are the product of the craftsmanship, the heritage kind of understanding and the creativity that comes from a knowledge and love of this work, the materials and what can be made. If they lose their capacity to do that because somebody else is ripping them off, I think that's a net loss. And I think that that is totally possible. If reps become so popular, then Guidi will lose. You could easily pass these off to somebody who's never seen Guidi's before, because once they got them, they would see and feel a really luxurious boot and they would believe that it was worth whatever price. When these fakes are sold and they enter the hands of just like a regular Joe Blow, eventually they will most likely end up on the secondhand market. And the fakes that occupy the secondhand market can basically destroy customer trust. There is something negative about replicating something that's only special because of how it was made, of the special uh, essence that was imbued into it from Guidi. Watch my old video. I talk about it. 
But at the same time, like I'm gonna wear these boots. I think they're sick. I think that it is like a positive if people go and buy fake versions of stuff so that they get a sense of the style and then end up buying real ones like I've seen. Troubled, guys, I'm troubled. I don't have an answer. A a and there are a couple of things, a couple of threads that I kind of left off on. One of them was this idea of automation. Like people are talking a lot about AI right now. And on one hand, AI can give people access to a thing, to a skill tool that they otherwise could never really access. And it could unlock a, a form of creativity for them. On the flip side, the cost is that the artists who are making those things that the AI is inspired by are being ripped off. A and the eventual decline that people are afraid of is that there will be, AI will just be so competitive and basically be good enough that the artists who originally inspired it won't be able to live. They won't be able to live off of their work because nobody will pay for it. And, and I think that that is a net decline. Like if that is the reality, then everything gets worse. And I, I think there's a parallel with reps, but I'm asking you guys what you think. Keep an open mind, comment down below. If you're just like one of those people who is like, I am a billionaire, so I've only bought real ones and anybody who buys fakes is an ant underneath my weedy boot. Try to keep your mind open. A huge thanks to quality reps. Everybody who helped me, I love you. You know, I'm tickled pink that that's the kind of community on there. Uh, and guys, support me on Patreon, please. I have the new advanced aesthetic video up on Patreon right now. You can join for free to just watch it. I would love for you to stick around um, and stick around because there's more videos all the time, blah, 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 blah. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching the Brave New Wear show. If you enjoy this content, be sure to like and subscribe.